Hi, how about we draw the body of a crosshead as we see it in front of us? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to show you how the picture looks like. So this is how the dimension is going to be. So without wasting time, what you can do is you can capture that and then from there we're gonna go drawing together. So I'm gonna start by saying new. From there I go metric, standard millimeter, and then I say create. So yeah. What I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with one of the axes, one of the lines just for guidance. So I want that one day to be, uh, let's say, 400 millimeters. 400 millimeters. Okay. Even though I'm not gonna use it, okay, but I need it to be there in case I need it. So I'm gonna put it a little bit up there. Okay. Then I draw another line. This is my other line. There we go. I say escape. So here I'm starting with the base. So this is the base. Okay. This is the base. And I want the dimension of the base from the to here as per our drawing to be 30 millimeters. So that needs to be 30 millimeters. And uh, that's one day need to be uh, one. One five so one fifteen millimeters meaning from the to here that need to be um five seven point five there you go okay so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try to drag to drag back my line okay there you go once I get that one right what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna draw the circle okay there's my circle and i want my circle to have a dimension of a uh, aspr drawing that's one need to be uh two two zero so 220 220 so once i get that one i want then from the to the to be 165 so that need to be 165 millimeters so once i get that right again i need to draw these lines these lines of mine so from here let me make it easier i'm gonna draw a rectangle so there is my rectangle okay there is my rectangle and that's by my drawing that's one day needs to be 60 millimeters so that need to be 60 millimeters oh come on 60 millimeters so that need to be 60 millimeters okay so which means from the to the that need to be 30 that need to be 30 there we go all right what next now um now what I need to do is I need to do this other rectangle. So from here to there, I need to have that rectangle and then from here to there, that need to be 40 millimeters. So that need to be 40 millimeters. And the whole of it need to be 80 so that need to be 80 right so once we get that one right <coughs> what we're gonna do next is we're gonna try to trim all the excess so we don't need that come on i'm gonna try to delete this first because this is the one that is disturbing me so i don't need that i don't need this i don't need that i don't need that okay and down here I don't know this, I don't know this, I don't need that. Escape easily, select it, say delete. So I don't know this, I don't know this, I don't need that, that as well. I don't need this. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna try to drag that one back. Back there. Okay. So once I get that one. What I'm doing next is I'm gonna try to trim that spot. 
that one okay so that is an angle escape so i'm gonna draw this sake of mine the first one as we are drawing the second one and the distance from the two centers so that need to be 150 so that need to be 150 sorry 150 okay and from the and from here to the that need to be uh 90 so 90 great and then this one here need to be 30 millimeters diameter so that need to be 30 millimeters so this one as well need to be 30 30 millimeters so that need to be 30 millimeters so i get that one right so the next thing that i have to do is to draw a rectangle so there is my rectangle what i can do is i can just draw line so that is my first line there is my second line okay and i want the distance from this one here to that one there to be 80 millimeters so that need to be 80 millimeters and from here to there come on and from here to the center just to make sure about the constraint that need to be 40 millimeters so that is 40 millimeters so what next is the other rectangle i can use lines still fine so there you go and then from here to there that need to be 45 millimeters so that need to be 45 millimeters and i want from the center to the to have a constraint so that need to be 22.5 sorry 0.5 millimeters so that is great is it not great so that is great i think everything is done eh? everything is done so what i can do now i can just uh remove that one day because i don't need it anymore so i can remove that one day isn't it I can remove this one day and this one here i can also remove it so i say finish sketch all i'm doing next is i'm gonna go on extrude okay so i'm gonna try to extrude the base so my base needs to go 210 millimeters and need to go both ways both ways of the plane so which means i need to select that one and then you say okay after that i need to go on there i say sketch and then i click a visibility so once i have that what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna go on extrude again i click my sketch okay that is the bottom one and i click the top one as well okay, okay there you go and then i want it to go uh 100 millimeters both sides 100 millimeters both sides so 50 one side and 50 the other ways 50 this side 50 the other the other side and i say okay once that is done i come here look at what i'm gonna do i say extrude again and then i select i select this port and i want it to go uh, as be my drawing give me a minute that need to go 58 58 millimeters the other way right like this correct i say okay so once that is done what i have to do next is i go and extrude again i select this one and that's what i want them to go that way by 50 millimeters so that need to go that way by 50 millimeters is it not wow 
I said 40, 50 millimeters. All right, so like that. Okay, so that is done. Okay, and then here, this is what I need to do next. Okay, this is what I need to do next. Okay, so I need to come this side here yeah, and select that spot. I say fill it. I select that spot as well. Come on, this spot as well. I come this side here. Yeah. I select that spot. Did I select it? I select that spot. Then I turn it. And then I select this spot. I wanted to have a fillet of a radius of 20 millimeters as per our drawing. So I say, okay, enter. So that is done. Okay. So that is done. Let my drawing come here. So that is done. Okay. Come again. Maybe. All right. So that is done. Yeah. What I have to do next is I have now to go extrude. And I want that. This. And that. To now be cut inside. By going with. 48 millimeters like that then i say okay so this is what is next so i come there i select that spot okay and then i select and then i select this spot i want them to go by 40 millimeters so 40 millimeters there you go then i say okay right so what i have to do now is to remove the visibility i come down a sketch i say visibility remove so this is how the body of your crosshead looks like the other thing that you have to do now is to put the thread so you want i want a thread there a thread inside there where is thread i go into thread specification m30 I'm happy with the pitch. I say apply. I come here again. The same thing can see that thread day. I select thread. I'm happy with the standard M30. I say apply. So once that is done, the next thing that the next thing that you have to do now is to select the material. You can see it's well done. It's well done the same way okay as per our drawing this is our drawing as per our drawing so now i need to go back there okay there we go okay so i'm gonna have to select the material since the sketch is done it is in 3 d model now and what material must it be you now oh uh, let's say carbon steel it's fine carbon steel okay quicker there you go so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to enjoy it. For now, I'm going to ask you to take, take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to share this video, please do so. So now I'm going to say bye. See you. Grace.